Last November was my five year. To celebrate, my husband and I went to um, Walker and I bought me a brand new Jeep. I know that every day is special and that you get up every day and you live every day to the fullest and you appreciate every day. with stage three breast cancer. And uh, a few years later, we just got the momentum started to get a Coleman race in, in our town. And it's been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. Everybody thinks that breast cancer is a... Uh... <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a young person's, an old person's disease, but it's not. It's, it's, you're hearing more and more about it. They're 35, they're 30 years old, they're you know under 40. And so, Really, this whole thing is about awareness. It's about making sure that women know, go get checked. We lost one of our dearest friends uh, in October who helped us start this race. This necklace is in honor of uh, our friend who passed away you know, this year. And uh, the very first year of the race, I made a comment, said, you know, at the end of the race, I said, well, we just got to keep on keeping on. He said it like in front of all the everybody. And so everybody made fun of me, but uh, her rallying cry became keep on keeping on. And she so that was her thing. made these -O -O necklaces. For Angie's, like, you know, when she was going through her treatments. So then weirdly last night, my wife gets this fortune in her fortune cookie. Last night. She says keep on keeping on. <laughs> it's just a weird wow. omen. That's not going uh, on. Almost like, you know, our friend is uh, watching what's going on today. You know, she's one of the organizers of the race, was there the first year, big champion, and uh, so we're just keep on keeping on. It's very emotional. I was diagnosed with breast cancer January the 10th, so it's been 275 days of my survival. How did it make you feel when you saw him? Overwhelmed. <laughs> Overwhelmed. Um, excited that they're behind me. And it just touched my heart. When she called me in January and said, I, I, it was a Sunday morning, I need you to come to my house, I need you to come over, I need to talk to you, and uh, I want you to come by yourself. I said, well, one of two things is gonna happen. She's either gonna tell me how to raise my kids, or she's gonna tell me she has cancer. And uh, it was the latter of the two. And, but from there, she's uh, <laughs> she's been remarkable. She's been the strongest lady. <laughs> she's, uh, she's done good, she's done good. Just, uh, it's, it's a blessing to be out here. It's a horrible disease. All these people are out here walking for me because I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I hope that no one ever has to go through what I've been through. The feeling you get when people start showing up down here and you see the crowds and, and you see that start line going past you and they keep coming and they keep going. It's, just, it's a great feeling. God is good. And there's the fortune. Keep on keeping on.